Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for a project pan update. This is update number four. I am going to start with my empties as I always do. We're just, we're jumping straight into it. If you don't know what a project pan is, it's where we use up our, our beauty products. So we're not hoarding crap and just constantly buying shit for the sake of buying it, but never finishing it. That's why I'm doing it. Um, okay, so <laughs> empties. Um, I have the deluxe mini size of the Drunk Elephant Silly Body Lotion. Um, this is fine, but it smells like marzipan. And I'm, I just, I don't know why that's the scent they chose. That's probably the one thing about their body range that really like sticks with me. Why that scent? Anyway, um, it's fine. It's moisturizing enough, not going to be great if you have super dry skin, not something I would buy again. I probably like, I'm not really interested in the Drunk Elephant body range. I've tried pretty much everything from their body, well, no, they're like core products that they started with, like body wash, a moisturizer, uh, they had a deodorant, um, and then their hair products. I tried them all out, just not really, not my, not my, not my jam, not my jam. It's fine we move on uh percy and reed this is the wonder overnight recovery guys this stuff i listen i've known that i've enjoyed this stuff for a long time but i had like i think there was only like one use left in there um and i was sort of i uh, look listen i was squirreling it away like an idiot it is what it is i finally came to my senses and i used it and i was just like again blown away at how good this is this is the sort of product that you put in your hair as a pre-wash treatment so you can put this in in the morning and then like wash your hair a few hours later like in the evening basically the longer you leave it in the better. They call it an overnight treatment because you should put it in at night and then wash it out in the morning. It makes your hair so soft and beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. It's fantastic stuff. And I've got to say, Percy and Reed is one of those brands where when it comes to their hair products, like almost everything is fantastic. I, just, I really rate this brand. I think they're, they're great. I would buy this in the future. I definitely would. I really loved it. Let's get into the sample stuff. This is kind of a deluxe mini as well. It's the uh, Clean Slate Micellar Water from Mecca Cosmetica. I didn't like this. Um, I would put this on par with every single micellar water on the market other than the Bioderma one. Uh, and that's obviously like you know, I'm not being serious because uh, I haven't tried every single micellar water on the market. Um, but this is what I, I consider it average. The um, Bioderma one is holy grail for me. It just does such a good job at removing makeup and doing it night, like clean. The skin feels clean afterwards. My skin didn't feel clean after this. It also didn't get off all of my makeup and there was a whole lot of rubbing involved. I wouldn't buy this and I am really glad that it's finished. This is from Philosophy. It is the micro delivery um, detoxifying oxygen peel. So it's two step mask, wash face. Uh, you put on the first step and then you let that sit for a little while. Then you put on the second step and it bubbles and foams and then you rinse it off. This, it, it's fine. I've used it in the past. Um, it's nothing groundbreaking. You definitely would have to use it regularly to see the best results. It would never ever in a million years replace just a really good acid toner for me. So, you know, there's that. Next up, I have the Algenist Elevate Advanced Retinol Serum. This stuff's great. This is, <laughs> this is potent. Um, I don't know how much this is but i'm gonna look it up because i'm curious 98 us dollars i wouldn't pay 98 us dollars for this i would get a prescription <laughs> because i feel like this is sort of in the same ballpark um it's quite potent and uh you definitely get like the retinol uglies and all that jazz but also that means you're getting the benefits of a retinol i also found it to be very low irritant um 
some retinols are like they they do irritate the skin when you're going through that retinol ugly phase whereas I got the retinol uglies but I didn't have the irritation so I actually really like this I thought it was a fantastic product if I ended up with more samples of it or if it somehow came into my life I would 100% use it but again like I said it's quite pricey I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it because I would be going for a more um, cost effective option that is just as effective essentially this stuff this is from quarterly it is the moisturizing sorbet this was just okay this was one of those things where I was using it and it was fine like it's ticking the boxes it's doing the moisturizing thing without you know messing up my makeup or not being enough moisturizer for the day all that jazz but like there was nothing exciting about the the usage of it you know how sometimes you like moisturizer is it an exciting product no <laughs> it's boring for the most part but you know when you really enjoy a product and there's just something about it that makes the usage of it like the the process of using it really pleasant so it makes you like it even more that's often what I'm looking for with a moisturizer beside it actually being effective this didn't really tick that box for me so you know I don't I wouldn't buy it again I've got another sample of it I'm definitely going to use that up but not something I would buy I do have a few things that I'm getting rid of um I've got two samples here they're both mud masks I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask and I've got the Quarterly instant detox mask this guy I didn't even use it's still sealed but after I used the Charlotte Tilbury one I was like I, I just don't I don't give a shit I'm not interested in keeping them I didn't care for it like it just it doesn't do anything for me <laughs> I look I've talked about these types of masks before where you've got to like you know put them on and then wash them off I am absolutely not going to put these on multiple times a week um, and often that's how often you need to use them to see results and uh, then like what's the point what's the point in using it so I'm just not going to I'm gonna get rid of both of them I also went through uh, my samples I was like right mud masks you're out get out um, I went through <laughs> my samples and I didn't actually have any more which is great um but while i was there where are they what did i here they are right in front of my face i did actually pull out some more samples to throw into the project uh they're mostly moisturizers one of them's an eye product um again like i mentioned you know i've got another one of these quarterly moisturizers um there's did i say there's 11 i'm throwing them into the project so you know there's that i'm working on some more samples in terms of my other samples that i have left i believe i've got 16 left most of them are fragrances so you know it's gonna take a while um there is one other thing i'm gonna get rid of and i'm gonna swap it in for something else it's this this is the hourglass mood light um powder this is the one i was using as a blush and i'm just not uh, i know i'm never going to finish this i feel like i'm just using it for the sake of using it and after i filmed my like testing out all of my blushes video which went up recently i thought you know what it's better if i substitute this in for a different product that I enjoy more at the moment and I I'm more like excited to reach for and there is a really good chance it's going to dry up and not be usable soon so I'm introducing this it's the three concept eyes the three concept eyes style nanda uh blush and bl blush and fuck blush cushion Oh, it's in the shade peach. It's really beautiful. I love the formula of this. It's nice and bright and like orangey. Look at we're matching. We are just so matching. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this. So this one's going into the project, and I am gonna declutter the hourglass um blush because or the powder because I'm like I've had it forever. I'm never gonna finish it it's got to go it was in the drawer of items that if i don't finish it this year it's got to go so 
it's going. Let's run through progress of my other items. So I have the mini of the Illamasqua Hydra Veil um, primer here. I love this. I know it looks empty. It's not. There's probably yeah, a little under, maybe a third of the product left in there. So this one was 31.82 grams, now 29.66 grams. This is really nice. It is a light hydrating gel product, essentially. Um, it doesn't really do a whole lot in terms of like how my foundation looks going over the top of it. It's just an extra hydrating step that is really thin and light. Uh, and that is kind of right up my alley with what, <laughs> like the perfect type of primer for myself. Um, because I have drier skin and also aging skin, I want to keep the hydration high, but keep the layers thin. Uh, and this is really nice. I would actually buy this. I would buy this in a full size and I think I would really enjoy it. It's a beautiful product. It's not super, super, super hydrating. This isn't like, you know, the second coming of Jesus. It's just an extra hydrating step. So it just helps to sort of boost it after you've already put down a really good hydrating um, base with skincare. Really enjoying that one. I will definitely finish that up very easily. Uh, my foundations, I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. God, that's a long name. Uh, it was 126.62 grams. It's now 125.25 grams. I am mixing it with this guy. This is the CYO Matte Foundation. It was 40.48 grams, now 38.22 grams. I try to do like a 50-50 mix of these guys. It's very difficult to get that combination um, like spot on because this you squeeze out, this you pump out, but it dis dispenses the tiniest amount of product. This stuff is super, super sheer and hydrating. Like on its own, I wouldn't even bother. I'd just wear a bloody moisturizer and move on with my life. And this is matte and higher coverage but it's not um, a really drying matte, which is nice. Mix them together. I get my more natural finish, you know, like slightly dewy without being like slick, <laughs> but also not super high coverage. So I'm enjoying the combination of these. However, I think this will be empty before this. And unless I have something similar to this to mix with this, this will eventually go. My concealing and color correcting products are the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This was 28.75 grams, now 28.6 grams. Not wearing a lot of concealer these days. However, what I can say is I always, I always liked this concealer, but I was never like blown away by it. And then I went ahead and I used the hydrating version in my last quarter and good God, I hated that stuff. It was very thick and just yuck. This is, <laughs> this is like, it's like night and day. Um, this is actually quite thin and has fairly good coverage. It's not super high, but it's fairly good. And I think this is so much more flattering on like drier and aging under eyes <laughs> than the hydrating one is. But I think also we've seen that mimicked with the the Too Faced one which is what this is you know what it's modeled after essentially so yeah I'm like I'm going with this I'm not going strong with it but I am going um Maybelline Master Camo this is the uh color corrector in green it was 10.75 grams, now 10.72 grams. I think I only use this twice. Um, and I use, like, when it comes to color correcting, if you're doing it properly, you use the absolute tiniest, tiniest amount. So this will last a long time, but it does have a place in my routine at the moment. Uh, I just I haven't been doing my makeup much lately. And you guys know how that goes with me. I go through ebbs and flows of how much I use my makeup. Um, my powder. Okay, this is the MAC Patrick's powder. It's in the holiday packaging. This was 105.8 grams, now 105.35 grams. I have kind of stopped using powder, guys. Um, I store this upside down, which, look, 
probably not the best idea, but also, like, if this gets flooded, it's kind of a nightmare, so I prefer the lid to be flooded, to be honest. Um, I can pick it up with a brush, like, this is what I do. I pick it up with a brush in the lid, I tap off the excess, and then I tap off even more excess in the, um, the sifter cup, and then I apply it. Um, let's not waste this. I, yeah, I have really not been wearing powder, like, other than what I'm putting on right now. Um, I'm, I'm not wearing powder. I am wearing my hourglass dim, oh, there we go, good. <laughs> Messy, did you see that? Um, I'm wearing my dim light powder as a bronzer, but otherwise, like, I'm kind of, things are changing, guys. I'm getting older and uh, powder is not really my friend anymore. So it's more about finding that balance of, um, you know, a really good foundation blend that is not too wet um, and not super matte and then just embracing no more powder which is kind of fun. Um, but in saying that, I have got a hell of a lot of powder to go through. So, you know, whatever. And also I might simply change my mind and decide to go back to using powder. But at the moment, I'm not using much at all, uh, which explains why there is almost no use on that. Uh, the next item that I have is my It's Skin... <laughs> spray uh, my face mist and I laugh because again I'm not wearing powder so I don't really need to wear a face mist to rehydrate it um, and also I think my skin is going back to being oily um, I get shiny throughout the day uh, and I don't I don't think that's just not because I'm wearing powder because even if I put powder on I'm getting a little bit shiny in the t-zone I don't I don't even know who my skin is these days um, so yeah, I didn't really use this very much. It was there. It's now down here. Whatever. Something I have been really enjoying though is this. It's the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. I've been using this as my bronzer, as I mentioned. Uh, this one was 89.21 grams, now 88.41 grams. I just buffed this over my foundation and use it as like a bronzing, contoury thing around the the perimeter of my face and then that's that's all the highlight that I have been working on recently is the Lisa Eldridge seamless skin elevated glow this is lovely again I like to put this under my foundation and I put it on my high points everywhere I would usually highlight so my cheekbones sometimes a little bit up on my brow a little bit up here um, above my eyebrows um, and then if I feel like it sometimes I'll put it elsewhere on my collarbone on my shoulders whatever I feel like I don't care I do what I like um, I haven't made much progress with this you really don't need a lot because this is sort of a combination of um, you know like glow from pigment so that sort of shimmery glow and also glow from the formula which is sort of that hydrated wet glow so I don't put on too much because I'm not trying to look like I'm sweating I'm trying to look like I'm glowing um, so this one was 110.47 grams it's now 110.34 grams i it's not in the project to try and finish it up it's in the project to make sure that i use it and enjoy it essentially um i also have my mac paint pot in painterly this is still going strong uh it was 49.24 grams now 49.10 grams it is drying up and i use such a small amount of it. Uh, thin layers is my jam at the moment. And look, this will probably take me the rest of the year to finish, let's be frank. <laughs> it is what it is, but I'm still enjoying it. Astralis Metallics, she is back. This one is in the shade Guns and Rose Petals. So I only use this twice and there is no like visual progress that I can show you. Um, this one is very, very wet. So <laughs> I find that it is actually quite difficult to apply a very thin layer, which I think is how these should be worn. Otherwise, they just look 
kind of goopy and heavy on the eyelid uh, but they're a really nice base for shimmery eyeshadows so um, you know I'll, I'll just keep going with that it's in the project just to get some use out of it because otherwise it'll sit in my collection until the end of days moving on to the pen and pencil type products I have the um, M MSH love liner here this is uh, the pink like pastel pink one um, I used this once I feel like it would be a really good uh, liner to use with my current hair uh, but it's the type of thing that I wear on its own no eyeshadow um, because obviously you can see how light it is it's going to get lost in eyeshadow um, and if I'm wearing that minimal makeup these days I'm not wearing makeup at all because uh, I am still trying to work on you know going through eyeshadows and stuff so it hasn't had any like you know visual use that I can show you and being an eyeliner you guys know they take forever to actually have uh, visual use let's do oh my god I've got like a whole just everything there's so many things here um, Marc Jacobs this is the fine liner in Cinderella I've been using this to tight line um, and it's good for that because it's skinny and it's small um, I did apply it underneath my lower lash line and try to smoke it out with one makeup application and it wasn't a good time it we just we didn't get along very well I felt like the formula was a bit stiff um, and I don't know if it's like maybe drying out a little bit yeah it doesn't feel as smooth as it once did like this was very glidey um, and I, I do feel like it is you know it's stiffening up so we'll see how we go with this over like you know the next two months and the course of the rest of the year but I think that one's gonna have to go eventually um, the Victoria Beckham by the way like no visual progress on that or on this guy um, this is the uh, satin Kajal liner in Bordeaux this is just I mean the formula is so glidey and smooth and beautiful um, but it's quite rich and dark and I'm not really gravitating towards those sorts of colors at the moment so it is kind of difficult for me to work this into um, my makeup looks these days but you know we continue um, Colourpop this is the Cor Lovers Coral or Coral Mashara as some of you will uh, have come to know it as um, I really love this color it's beautiful I should put it on today actually Maybe I will. Let's put it on now. Can you see it? Can you even tell that it's on there? Just matches the colour of my hair. Um, <laughs> fun. It's just a fun product. I don't use it all the time, but, you know, that's how I use it and I enjoy it when I do use it. My Benefit Precisely My Brow um, Brow Pencil. I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any, like weight progress that I can show you but I mean I can wind her all the way up and show you how much I have because I feel like that's pretty much as good as it gets with this sort of product because <laughs> it weighs so little um so that's what I have left I I am pretty confident that I should be able to actually finish that by the end of um the current quarter I also have my uh, M Cosmetics Clear Brow Gel. So this one was 10.59 grams, now 10.51 grams. Um, this is, I don't think it's like nearly empty or anything like that, but it's it's got 5 mil in it. At the start of the project it was 10.79. So I've only used like, oh, what? Okay, fine. You just stay there for a second. Um, I've only used point like 0.28 grams of product um, but it's getting to be like it looks like I fucking bogeys it's gross <laughs> like the color of it and this is what I hate about um, clear brow gels they they slowly build up with your brow color and they start to look gross I quite like the product um, it's got decent hold without being crunchy although I don't like I don't care too much about a crunchy brow but I, I'm more about the hold um, but yeah the, the, I just don't I don't really like the like the way it looks 
it's like the the color of the the product it looks pretty gross to be fair so yeah i don't know how long i'll keep that for my lip products i have the colourpop lippy pencil in oh snap the bloody lid like it doesn't want to stay on the <laughs> the um actual product inside the pencil just wants to fall out it's a nightmare anyway it's fine i love the color the color is absolutely divine so it was 6.25 grams now 6.11 grams i'm gonna keep going with that i also have my hourglass confession ultra slim lipstick i don't think i made oh yeah i did make tiny i mean I probably used it like twice. Um, it was 21.43 grams, now 21.41 grams. Um, and that's what I have left. This is a, like, it's a beautiful color. I really love it. But again, I'm, I feel like this is probably better as like a winter color, but will I even want to wear it then? I don't know. I'm, you know, I went through a phase for like, I don't know, two months where I was really into bright colors and now I'm into like nudes again. <laughs> Oh, I'm so fickle. Um, okay, this is the Lena Lips Lip Water. This was 14.67 grams, now 13.68 grams. I don't like this product. I've talked about it before. I had one that was like unopened and I decluttered it and I held on to this one because I was like, I don't like to waste shit and I'll just use it as like a topper over lipstick to, you know, give it give a little... A little gloss so you know let's do that now problem is i'm so rarely wearing an actual lipstick color and mostly just wearing lip balm so um i what i found myself doing is just sort of you know forcing myself to use this other than a lip balm and it just reminds me that it's kind of useless and i don't like it so there's that i'm really hoping i can actually finish it in the next month because when you know when it sort of sits uh, flat there's really not a whole lot in there so you know some regular daily use we'll see that gone fairly quickly uh, my hand cream this is from more it is the Cecilia hand cream I use this like twice I'm useless seriously um, it was 55.96 grams it's now 53.31 grams I just don't really remember to use hand cream I reach for it when my hands are super, super dry, but it's definitely not something that I use on a daily basis. Going on to my fragrance, I feel like I didn't do as well with this as I potentially could have. Um, so it was sitting about there, and honestly, I don't feel like it's changed much. Um, the fragrance light, actual line of it might be sitting ever so slightly below the line where I marked it but uh, like it's really hard to tell um I definitely used it I used it fairly regularly I used it you know most times when I was going out um but I didn't use it daily and also it's at the fattest part of the bottle so I feel like it's going to take me a bit of work to get through that I once I'm past that thickest part of the bottle I feel like um I'll make more progress simply because, you know, it becomes <laughs> a smaller vessel. Uh, and I, what I might also do is start using this as a room spray every now and then uh, because I'm not, like, I'm not married to it. Um, and I, I enjoy the fragrance, but it's definitely not something that I want to wear every day. So, you know, I just, I just want to finish it up. Oh, by the way, the weight of that, it was 241.03 grams. It's now 236.17 grams. So I haven't, I haven't used it too much. Um, next up, oh, let's do, let's do, oh yes, let's do these ones because I'm happy with my progress. Uh, Eco Tan, this is the Winter Skin Gradual Tanning Moisturizer. So it was there, it's now down here. I, uh, just been trying to finish this like this is I want to have this done by the end of the next update that is a major priority I don't love it I don't like the scent of it and also I don't feel like it's hydrating enough so it's not a fave I wouldn't buy it again um, but I'm getting through it this one I also I am going to finish this before the end of the next update, 100%. This is a Lush Lord of Misrule shower cream. It was up there. It's now down here. 
Yes, I have devoted my life to trying to finish this product because I don't like it. I just want it gone. Um, that's not fair, actually. There are some aspects of it that I like. The scent is okay, not my fave. Um, I don't know what it's meant to smell like. What does it say? Um, patchouli, hot spices, and frothy revelry. I don't know what frothy revelry smells like, but I mean... If that's what you say, it smells like fine. Um, this is a cream, shower cream. So the benefits of it are that it's um, low foam and quite hydrating. Or not, it doesn't strip my skin and it doesn't leave like any sort of yucky residue on my skin, which would be an absolute deal breaker and I would completely get rid of it. Um, the downside to it is, I've talked about this a lot and this is a very personal thing, I don't like um, the way Lush, like a lot of their shower products have an excess of um, dye in them or like colouring. I just, I don't know, I'm just not really into it. It's not my preference. I don't really want to see my body wash, washing off me green and have like splatters of green body wash that have, you know, you're in the shower, you're moving, you're doing all of the, the scrubby and the bits and all that jazz and product ends up on the walls, <laughs> essentially, like the shower, uh, like the shower door, the stuff like that. So I'm not into that. I don't like it. And the last thing that kind of Look, this is actually going back quite a while. Um, the product is thick, right? It's shower cream, it's thick. And this bottle, I'm sure, like, I don't think this is going to be like an every single bottle issue. It's probably just this bottle. Um, it's, it's super, like, it is so firm. And I have weak hands. We've already discussed this. The only place where I can easily squeeze a bottle is at the bottom right? So you're in the shower and you're trying to get it out. I have to squeeze it from the bottle, the bottom and just try and like let the air that's in there push out the excess product. I can't squeeze it in the middle. Like I just, I can't squeeze it with one hand, right? It's got to be here at the bottom. Um, and that irritates me to absolutely no end. Like for me, that is just useless packaging. Um, and because the product is quite thick, going back a long, long time ago when I was trying to work on using this up, I actually had to put water in it because I couldn't get it out of the bottle, squeezing it in the shower. So I've watered this down. There's really not that much left to go. It's here. I wouldn't buy this again because it hasn't been a pleasant user experience. And I really appreciate that you just sat through that and listened to me get all of my gripes off my chest about that product. Um, okay, let's talk about something else that I wanna, I got problems with. <laughs> not really, it's just, it's not for me. It's the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. Um, so it was up there, it's now down here. I uh, have been using this as a makeup removing step recently. And um, look, it works. It breaks down makeup okay. It's definitely not as good as some of my favorite cleansing oils or cleansing balms. Uh, you, it needs more work, essentially. It doesn't break things down as quickly. It also doesn't rinse away clean. Um, when I think about my pharmacy cleansing balm or my Shuramora cleansing oils, when I put them on a full face of makeup, they break things down really, really quickly. I don't have to work too hard over my lashes or like, you know, anywhere really. It just, they just are effective at really melting that makeup. And then when I emulsify them with water, they rinse away quite clean. I don't have like, it doesn't feel like I have a greasy residue on my face. So then I just use a tiny bit of face wash and, you know, make sure everything else is spotless essentially. And then I go about my business. Whereas with this, it takes a bit longer to break down the makeup, but it does break it down. So, you know, that, that's fine. It's effective in that sense. Um, when it comes to emulsifying it, there's always a residue left on my face and I feel like when it comes to the secondary cleansing step where I use a like actual foaming face wash uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to make sure I am breaking down this and uh, the makeup that is essentially stuck in the residue that is left on my face because the residue 
still holds on to makeup. So I have not really been enjoying it. Um, I, there is not much left, so I am going to finish it. Um, but I had two more of these that were, one was open, one was unopen, and I've put both of them in my declutter drawer because I just don't want, I don't want to have to go through this again in the future. So this one will, I think it's safe to say it'll be done by the next update, unless I just go rogue and don't wear makeup at all for the next month, which is not likely. <laughs> Possible but not likely. Um, so yeah, I think it'll be done and then, you know, we can just wipe our hands of that one. Uh, I've been using this from Dermalogica. It is a skin hydrating booster and I quite like it. I use this in place of my hyaluronic acid step. It was 31.31 grams. It's now 24.64 grams. I'll keep going with it. I don't know how much is in there. Maybe half a bottle? Feels like maybe there's half a bottle in there. Um, so yeah, I'll keep going with that. How much was it contained? 30 mils. Uh, we'll see. It had definitely had some use prior to me putting it in the project, obviously. Um, something I should have finished and I didn't, and I'm kind of annoyed with myself, but also it's understandable. Uh, the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. I have been using this a little bit on my feet, a little bit on my body. I have used it a couple more times on my face just to try and make sure I'm making progress. My plan was to just pretty much finish this on my body with like two or three uses, but I focused on this guy, which I made great progress with. So, you know, there's that. Um, this one was 190.14 grams, now 171.28 grams. So I have made some progress with it. Um, and I mean, look, there's not too much left in there, but still it's a few uses if I'm using it all over my body, essentially. So we'll keep going. Hopefully that one will actually be done by the next update, but this is still taking precedence because I'm ready to get it out of my life. The last product I have to show you is the Kristen S leave-in conditioner. This is a fantastic product, but it's not enough for me. Um, I haven't used it much. I don't reach for it often. It was there. It's now down here. My hair needs heavier products. I use uh, things like the Daveness uh, oil oil, Moroccan oil, stuff like that. And this doesn't even touch the sides. <laughs> I just kind of use this as like a little bit of a refresh. Um, I like the scent of it. So, you know, there's that. I don't know if I'll ever finish this. I, I don't hate using it. I don't use it often. I enjoy it when I do use it, but it doesn't really do much for me. So I'm just going to keep it in the project for now. We'll see how I go with it. I don't really have another hair product to swap it in with. Not anything that I'm going to make any significant progress on or finish anyway. So we'll just leave that one as it is for now. I do also have all of my sheet masks still. Um, the Lululun sheet mask like pack. I haven't even opened it yet. Yes, I know. Shame, shame. But uh, it is what it is. Hopefully uh, with the next update we'll have some... <laughs> some mask progress. We'll see how we go. So that's it for my project pan update number four. It was not, not my best work. I think we, we've established that. Um, but I have made some decent progress on some of the larger products and I look forward to finishing these up in the coming month. I don't think I'll have any troubles. Uh, feel free to leave your comments down below guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.